is News for Tucson, live at 530. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Aliyah Shahid. This weekend, Asarco workers continue to strike, prompting the company to halt operations at two of its plants, including one in Arizona. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink caught up with workers and community leaders on the picket line. It's new at 530. For the first time, we hear from Asarco workers on the picket line. Union leaders say their members, some of whom have spent decades at Asarco, haven't seen a raise in almost a decade. And the new contract offer asked the majority of the workforce to go without that raise for another four years. For this company not to realize what experienced labor that we're giving them and not to kick you in the face and say, well, you know what, you're not worth it. This is the end result right here. Manny Armenta is the local director for the United Steelworkers. He says his members are in this for the long haul. When our backs get against the wall, we have to fight back. Because in this country or anywhere you go in this world, if you don't fight, you're going to lose. Leaders here say Osarco's parent company, Grupo Mexico, wants its workers to pay higher out-of-pocket costs for health care, a non-starter. For the unions. So we can't afford higher insurance for families. You know, it feels like we're being punished for having families, and that's ridiculous. The United Steelworkers using its strike fund to help out workers and their families with the essentials. We take care of their people and their utility bills, mortgage payments, car payments. It's all based on need. This strike coming with just weeks to go before the holidays. Come Thanksgiving, we'll have to, you know, we'll be sitting at the table and and our kids are going to be wondering, you know, what's what's going on, mom, dad, you know, why is it these Thanksgivings like like the past? And union leaders say they are ready to sit down at the table with Asarco. News 4 Tucson has reached out to Asarco several times. We have not heard back as this strike enters its second week. In Sawarita, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.